Hi everybody, I'm Tina. This is To the Inner Wild. It is 12.20. It is the witching hour. <laughs> anyway, it's November 1st. That just hopped on over to the second. The veil is still thin. Do not worry. I wasn't going to do a reading today, but uh, I think my ancestors wanted to. They wanted to send a message because... I thought my next reading was going to be, um, like starting off the new projects with, um, you know, um, silent collabs. And I know that, like, part of the reason I realized was that some are just not comfortable with asking or wondering if I'm interested or, you know, there's some kind of factor where they're just, um, you know, they're wanting to, but they're reluctant to kind of thing so I think this is just a great way to kind of commend them for their you know creative skills and um, the type of content that they produce so I am right now if not at all further down the road permitted to um um uh like actually sit in on the readings um this even goes for TikTok like I find myself like kind of you know not fast forwarding, but um, clicking on to the next thing because I'm just not, um, I'm supposed to strictly adhere to, like I'm supposed to fast when it comes to um, energetic flows. That um, I think it's really great though. I, I've seen like um, a preview of um, what um, others can come up with. And this is a new era for all of us. So um, those that are really um, tapping in, um, I want to make sure that they're, um, well, you know, I don't want to come off as like, um, um, how do I say it? I just want to make sure that I'm the kind of leader that, um, isn't micromanaging, but like just, you know, every now and then we'll take a glance, um, at what they've um, done with their autonomy and, you know, um, you know, shine light on people when their light is shining. So it's just super amplified, you know? And um, this is a great way to learn from each other what we can bring to the table truly as we, you know, discover different parts of ourselves. So this also allows me the freedom to, um, to um, acclimate to new learnings. Um, um, uh, and rediscover old, um, like ancient, um, learnings, um, and meld them into, um, current, you know, current things that I can tap into. Um, yeah, I, I think that's really great. And, um, that way we kind of like, we're grounding what it means to be a leader, just kind of putting a new school twist to it. Um, as far as I know, what I grew up with and what I'm seeing, you know, on the outskirts. Um, and I think this is the perfect time to do that um, because I'm stepping out of, you know, the whole like corporate thing. Um, the latter, you know, it's just like, which way is up again? You know, when you really look at things, it's I want to make sure that there's no question about it and that I'm setting the tone for um, the realm that I choose to be in because I see it as worthy. Um, I see my peers as um, equal um, when it comes to bringing um, value to the table. That's, that's the kind of environment that I've dreamed of um, working in um, hence also partially living in, like, I don't know how people like compartmentalize and they don't, you know, they kind of like separate their, um, personal life from their work life. Both lives are lives like within a singular body. So we need to be able to, um, adjust it accordingly. Not like, how do I say it? Cause in the spiritual realm, Sorry, I'm chewing gum. Like, this is my, like, midnight <laughs> treat. <laughs> I don't normally do this, but I'm like, mm, I want a snacky. I want a snacky. And I just decided, like, hey, I have a new, like, what? You, where, where's the thing? 
I figured if I couldn't open it, then it wasn't meant to be. So, anyway. Like, if it bent the package while I was trying to open it, then it was just not meant to be. But on the very last second, it let me. And you know, like, how ridiculous it is? Like, I opened it up. I normally don't see, like, the fine print on there. And it lists, like, an inventory of the gum. Like, who does that? <laughs> anyway, on the inner flap. And and so I'm like, 15? Don't tell me that a piece of gum is a devil. <laughs> don't tell me that. Like, there's so many... Don't, don't. Just don't do that. Like, it can't be... I'll undo it and I'll, like, floss tonight. <laughs> anyway, to, so today is a free day for me. I might be doing, um, getting ready for a phone interview. I, I don't know. I'm not so go, supposed to go aggro on, you know, um, my side piece jobs. <laughs> um, but, um, I think tomorrow is a wonderful time to engage the inner child and kind of tame my inner children. <laughs> so I think that's a perfect time because like when you do that, um, you're not a, just appeasing, but like you're listening to your inner child with like good old wholesome fun, which means that, oh, part of the, you know, I forgot, like sometimes I speak too fast and the two little fat, little little things that I forgot about mentioning to you was that in earlier the the last read that I did, okay, when I put the put on the um evil eye, you know, like the all seeing eye on my avatar, like that's how I cut through. Um, when I was doing the accident report, um, <laughs> I did like um a remote like teleconference thing, visual, <laughs> virtual conference thing. The HR, the VP, she was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was so excellent. It was classic. She got frightened. Let me tell you, frightened. And she said, if you don't mind, um, I'm going to be doing some things over here. So I'm not really looking at the screen, you know, <laughs> I was like, don't, don't worry. It's, it's all audible only anyway. So, you know. I let her just, like, scoot out. But I got the... She already saw... She can't unsee what she's already seen. In fact, the all-seeing eye has saw... Has seen what they needed to see. Wink, wink. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I'm, I'm going to wire wrap this all-seeing eye. I'm going to sell it to you. I'm going to do wire wrap an all-seeing eye. Winking. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Fucking perfect. Anyway... Um, the other thing, I forgot the other thing now, it was just too juicy. Um, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. Um, my auras, my space, my chakras, and that, and my viewers who are only ones that are welcome current practitioners of light and love so come on down all of you rest of you just sit back just just go back home just go back home there's no show for you here that's what we're doing okay okay um okay give me a second i have to i wish i remember what it was was it okay that I said that, angels? I think it, it's just um, very important to see, you know, our impact on others and um, be, like, very mindful and, um, how do I say it? Not just mindful, mindful but, like, It's, um, because I've, d I've done a reading about, or, like, we've talked about this long ago. Um. Oh, hello there. <laughs> um, 
trying to jog my memory on something. I hope you are well, by the way. <laughs> um, so, let's get started here. Um, yes, ancestors. That is why I'm here. I felt that there was, um, thank you, ancestors. Ancestors of light and love, I welcome you in, of course. Let's go ahead and light a candle. This is a special event for you, for us. Um, where's the candle? Where's the candle when you need one? Where is a candle? Um... Let's um use this one for now. Oh, it smells so beautiful. Okay, I have to take out, you know, the extra stuffs. The extras. Okay, that's good. Anyway, all right, where's the thingy for this? Oh, still here. For the ancestors. Oh, I put together a more beautiful offering. They wanted it. They deserve it. But Anyway, gosh, I really wanted to remember what I was needing to remember, but I think we're supposed to get down to business. Okay. All right, what do the ancestors want to tell me? Okay, let's go use the O cards, okay? Sisters. Okay, let's go ahead and burn some cinnamon for you, too. Okay. Okay, I'm, I have to let it go. I have to let it go, whatever I, it was that I wanted to tell you about. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Ancestors of Light and Love, what do you want to convey to me? What what are you supposed to tell me? Okay. Those two so far. Eliminate in reverse and retreat in reverse. Those are our cards. Or my cards anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So what is um the reversal of eliminate? Hmm? Um create. Duh. In order oh, and that was part of my errands yesterday. Is um get like I've had a bag of stuff that I've been trying to get rid of. Um not re get rid of, but like donate to this particular organization for quite some time now. Hmm. At least a couple of weeks. Yeah, and um, I just never, like, never just, like, really came to... But I was told to. I mean, I usually just carry them in my car so that when I get around to it, like, I can donate or whatever. So, um, and that's a good reminder for me to continuously, like, clean out, clean out, clean out. And um, that's how you make room for the new. And, in fact, when my lovey came by the other day... The one with the really good, 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 super good energy. They told me to clean up. Uh, yeah. So retreat and reverse is coming back. Just getting back. Or it could be staying put. Let me, let me find out, okay? Because retreat is leaving. 
the reversal could be coming back or just like never have left never never having left at all oh okay that's our ancestors card for real and create is ours how friend they're smart <laughs> thank you it's hard sometimes to like because i physically physically can't see them i don't have any like background report on them i don't have any like resume i have like i don't know i i don't know um so like um the whole wonderful thing about this is it's just rooted in integrity so they get a feel for like the true me um whereas they would get a more like a different version of me if i knew at the state i can be honest with myself like i know that maybe i would um act a little differently um or behave a little differently if i knew what their background was and I think there's something a little shameful in that only because, oh my gosh, I'm feeling like there's a pimple on my back and I'm trying to scratch it off right now. <laughs> I'm scabbing. You might see stubble. <laughs> Hello, stubble. <laughs> How are you this evening? <laughs> this witching hour. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. So you get a true slice of me. <laughs> um, what were we going to say, angels? Shoot. Okay. But, you know, there's something shameful in that a little bit. Because, you know, the wonderful thing, the blessing in disguise, is that when I just exited, um, like, multiple relationships within an organization... It was just like, they're so fake. And the whole time, everybody trying to size me up, like continuously, every single day, after every single reading that they've encountered, um, every piece of data that they've, you know, it's like fucking like what, like the, um, when Gaia got exposed, that organization, how like, how invasive they were and how they abused information um as well as like um like almost like blackmailed if not actually blackmailed um their employees um to you know to having like the thumb you know just having their that that, that exercise of control so anyway why do we get to all of that <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even remember why we got to all of that. Because I think the ancestors are saying, like, come on, let's get to it. <laughs> I can talk to you about that stuff later. <laughs> all right. Eliminate. So create. What, what are we putting in there, ancestors? All of the light. Okay. Fell right on it. Oh, a single card. Get serious about creating. No clowning around. That's part of the reason why things started breaking. The allowance for, you know, the bullshit energy, the dude that keeps trying to grab up my attention or several of them. Like, um, I need to, like, focus on creating, like, my hobbies, things that, um... I need to start creating. Um, it would serve for multiple streams of income. Like, I know I'm that good. I just told you about the winky. On the, on the, on the all-seeing eye. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that tonight. Okay? I'll post a picture of it. And then I'll start up a shop. Okay? That's what's going to happen. And you are going to visit. And you're going to say... Hi, hello, I visited. And you might buy something. And you know what? All the shit that I'm making are programmed for your betterment. So you get a piece of my magic and you get to elaborate on yours. 
I've already made a bunch of stuff. I just haven't posted. I haven't. I haven't shared it. Just because I don't. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. I was just worried about you know people at first copying me, and then like I like I made the um, Eye of Horus or the Eye of Ra. Um, like a few years ago. This was like after maybe a couple of weeks of learning how to wire wrap, just self-learning it. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was going to be an arm cuff. And, and then now you see it like kind of like everywhere. But, um, so I just remember having it in one of my pictures, like kind of an offshoot area. And it was just in progress. Maybe I'll share a snapshot of it. I know I did pretty badass for like self-learning and um, not copying anything. Um, so anyway, I know that I can, I can do pretty well. Um, I just haven't, I've only shared like my, you know, some stuff, just not the stuff that like I, so it was partially for like, I didn't want people, like, copying me out of, like, the, you know, because I didn't really have a major head count, and, like, I'm just so used to people taking from me that I just kind of didn't want to share anything. Um, and then there's that other piece where when I started getting, like, heavily spiritual, that, um, I... I was worried that people would use my magic against me, like, because everything holds an imprint, and, um, but then, like, my guides, like, all, I have such strong backing, we're talking, like, gods and goddesses, and, um, not just ancestors, we're talking, like, spirit has been by my side, like, forever and a day, especially as of these late days, like, not just, like, just literally beside me. And so, um, personally delivering messages to, like, the worst of the worst, the biggest bullshitters of them all, you know, just one by one, you know, sometimes in a grouping. Like, you know, the night before last. Anyway. So, I'm told I, I'm, I'm supremely protected. People have gotten a taste of what karma is like within its immediacy and within its long-range view. You know, there's like scheduled karma where it's like the sweet spot of where it hits some of the hardest, you know? the most memorable, like, <laughs> you can't talk yourself out of that one. Um, two, like, it's instantaneous. So, like, I'm, I'm free to create. They'll know where it comes from. And people are not going to use my magic against me or they, they shall dare to find out what happens. Um, because it's meant for, um, the greater good, the greatest good, actually. So, um, yeah, get serious about creating. That's what they're saying. No more clowning around. Okay. Thank you, ancestors. Because a lot of the things that I create, if not all, are with the help of my ancestors. For reals. A lot, you know, um, like the la last necklace that I showed you, my prototype. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Shh. Right. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. So what goes in the retreat and reversal? So either coming back or staying put, like they're always, they've always been here. Coming back in full. Okay. What fell on eliminate? Or create. It's a pathway and... Oh, okay. So look, 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 look. We're not done with it yet. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Just burped. 
Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that was partially magic. I had to speak it into existence. I had to I had to tell people like that's crazy. Okay. Um anyway, so we, they weren't done with create part. Like my, my ancestors are for reals about this. They contribute to this. So like they're also partially protecting me when it comes to my creations. And um and they do want the best for not just society, but like all, the all. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is accentuated. It's the path to like, not just my own ascension in creation, but that of others. This is absolute, like, um, this is for sure. Like, I will create a lot of funds from that alone. Um, I don't know how, you know, to foresee all of that since before when I used to like sew and knit, um, I I hadn't Etsy shop and it you know sucked, but I was told by other psychics you know at the time like this was before I was you know spiritual or anything like that, um, that they um it just wasn't the right time the right cycle for me to do that, but it was a good like you know to just create, um, so anyway um this is um muted. So it's a, it looks like it's a marathon, but it's muted. So, um, it's, it, it's not a race between who gets there first, um, when it comes to like others, you know, this is, um, more like a race to like becoming my best self. That's what it is. Um, a race to when am I going to start this? Because this is leading to my best self. Do you see that? Um, this is accentuated and this is muted. So it's a race to like the steps that it takes to get there. Um, okay. So. Okay. All right. So. Are we done with that or are we moving on to retreat? I mean, you know, retreat in reverse. Ancestors of love and light. What fell on my um, right leg is a box. A dot in the middle. Um, what feels like resistance. <laughs> resistance with self. <laughs> Auras of self. And, um, worship in reverse. Okay. So what I personally need to do that's out of the box is get out of the box. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's what they said. This doesn't even go in a little window. This goes in my personal inbox. <laughs> like, they're like, I know you didn't have a place for it, but we're making a place for you because this is, this is mail delivered Straight to you, Tina. Get out of that box. And you're saying you're playing it safe. Like, you're staying in, in the middle, and, like, it's almost like you're lost. Like, no one, like, there's nowhere, no one to be found, so you feel like you're in nowhere land. Oh, that's a Beatles song. Yeah. Nowhere man. Please listen. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, The world is at your command. I can't hear the lyrics anymore. Mm -hmm. But they're saying that last time we saw this, this is um like the hourglass of the in between. We saw this on a TikTok thing that I already put on my YouTube anyway. But um, this is the middle part, you know, where um of the hourglass where that's it's the last grain of sand. So it's just like, it's just waiting for us to like fall into it where we belong. Oh, it's infected mushroom. Where do I belong? Where do I belong? Nowhere, man. Okay. 
I gotta remember these things. Um, and so they're just, um, they're saying that I'm free to go, free to roam. Um, but there's no turning back. Just like fall into it. That's crazy. Thank you. <laughs> I want to call them angels, but, um, so there's, um, an area of resistance here. Um, you know, I think it's kind of like wringing things out, like don't sweat it also, because it's like you're trying to um, get whatever it is that you've kind of, whether it was spilt milk or like wiping off sweat, like a towel or whatever, it's wringing it out. So like just, uh, it should be low resistance at this point, um, like don't sweat it. Um, and, um, you know... Uh, Put that resistance somewhere to use. That energy of resistance. Put it somewhere to use. Um, like don't work against yourself. Like within all of that stress. Um, if you feel like you're going aggro. Like it, it's just plain and simple. Like these are very very simple pictures. Very Like very very simple. Just go with the gravity. Go with the flow. And it's just, just gravity. Like just fall into it. It's, it's like the trust fall. <laughs> But it's like, it's gravity. So it's just like, just go with it. <laughs> That's funny. So like, if somebody's going to break my shit, make shit happen. Like, make it work. Like, I know this, this, um, gets snagged on things, but like, this is a prototype. This is, this is a quick fix that took like, I don't know, two, three minutes just to like, figure out like, okay, what am I going to do with it? Okay, just, just get it done and get the beads, get it together and just put it together, okay? Because when it, when somebody tries to disarm you with particular items, um, it's telling you that you need it most. That they're trying to take down what seems to be like the most threatening to them. What what seems to be the biggest like boundary or like my biggest like asset. Um, they're trying to take that down, and so we build that right back up. We're, we're it's not just building boundaries, but, um, fortifying. Mm -hmm. So, um, and getting to know like ourselves well enough and our magic in like, like having that resilience, that magic, that's just out of this world. Like they didn't even see it coming. They thought we were just going to like, our knees were going to buckle and we were just going to take it that we were just going to like shove that shit to the side and under the rug and like, I'll get to it later. No, we're on a new level. <laughs> no. So, um, getting to know, like expanding ourselves, um, um, knowing the inner child as well as like the expanded version, like our, our higher selves, like we're constantly growing, constantly expanding. So becoming like just out of this world, out of this picture, out of this box right so um um our place of worship i was kind of warned about this <laughs> i was hinted towards this in one of the um angel numbers in my last reading or the previous um it's revisiting that um and it's it's part of you know the root system um it, it's if you're going to look at, at it on a practical level, um, just think about it in form of discipline. Um, grounding oneself, uh, oneself in, in having the patience and the reverence for some, for source, um, and building time for that. It doesn't have to be within a particular facet of a, like, how do I say it? whatever how do I see it because I grew up with Catholicism or like a variation of Christianity um and I can engage in multiple practices it doesn't one doesn't oust the other when it comes to um how I'm told to um how I'm guided to practice so just because I like go to church or go to service you know um 
hypothetically or let's say prospectively um on a periodic basis um it doesn't like oust my belief system within the occult it doesn't um you know it's a blend um so it, it's not absolute and it's not exclusive okay so don't be afraid of you know of going back um so they're they're reminding me of that and that's like why i started on the shrine um to build you know more awareness and um yeah okay so we started from there that was that was a start um okay so ancestors of light and love um is there anything else that you want me to say with regards to that or are we going to move on now to um the retreat in reverse okay oh that's sweet So we have um, a mother that's nursing her baby and um, a rainbow with a bridge. <laughs> Both are in reverse. Do you know how crazy this is? This is basically, you know, the crones within my ancestry. Um, and you know how I just, in the past couple of readings, I talked about burning, building a bridge and then burning it. This one's not made out of wood. This this is a bridge that's meant to last like for a long time. And that there's um there's rain still happening, you know, but there's a huge rainbow. Larger than the bridge, obviously. Um that bridges into both worlds. So, um what are they saying? So it's not it's not never leaving but it's also coming back okay so um it's coming back to my roots but it's also like because they never left so this is a point where they're nurturing me but they're no longer hand holding me okay yes and, um, like, like, that's, that's, yeah, I feel like that. Okay. And then, um, as far as the bridge and the, um, um, rainbow in reverse. Oh, that there's always a connection point, you know? that it was never lost, that it was just kind of in another world. And the rainbow still exists. It's massive. This is all happening be beyond the veil, beneath the veil. So, um, wow, I have a very strong connection point, not just like on All Souls Day or Dia de los Muertos or, you know, Hollow's Eve or whatever. I've always had a connection. But I have an even stronger one now. Like, it's limitless, they said. But it's like when I contact them, I need to respect their um, time and their, you know, account. Like, you know how I was talking about just talking, talking? Um, sometimes they're okay with that. But, like, if I'm going to open the door to them, uh, they, they want to make sure that it's focused. Because, you know, I do have a certain audience that is limited in their desire to listen into the talk 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 like some people are also just serious about you know they're here for a certain thing not this thing you know so anything else um ancestors of light and love am i missing anything there or do we need to add anything else Okay, so what's facing the seeds is, um, oh my gosh, do you see this? For real. Holy smokes. That's crazy. That's crazy. So this is a divine partnership 
between me and my ancestors within this portal of entry that this is you know creating is a money-making thing whatever they've given to me as far as my channeling I can make money off of and it's it's going to plant seeds I'm planting seeds already with what I'm doing here so this is absolute this is they're helping me and they can continue to help me but this is something that I am destined to um reap the rewards of this is what they wanted for me and you know my lineage so like that's that's that i don't need to say anything else like do you see this like they've already planted the seeds for me they've helped me plant like acres and acres and acres like an empire of seeds here and do you see this? It's green. It's like that secret handshake right there. Um, and it's all green. It's all green. <laughs> that, that was in the deck. Like, that's my working hand. That's insane. I love it. Okay. And then what fell on here was... Oh, I'm going to go to the beach. My inner child is calling. Okay, there is spilt milk. But don't worry about it. It's filled milk. So they're just saying, like, hold up, like actually they're 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 don't they're like saying don't put the brakes on spilt milk because this is more important. Like the things that I need to do with like paperwork or this and that, like that shit can you know, like don't let it stop you, okay, from enjoying like life. Um don't let the paperwork um um, don't shy away from like doing this. Don't excuse anything else from like what your soul needs. Um, so this is um, measuring, like sizing things up. Um, this is upright. So yeah, it's sizing up like what needs to be done in life versus like because both all the all of these things need to be done, but it's like. What is, um, need to have, like, and what is it? Must haves versus, um, nice to have, you know? Need to have versus the nice to have, okay? When we're sizing things up, okay? Because, like, if we died tomorrow, like, at a certain time, or just, like, died tomorrow, this would feed our soul way more than having to, like, stop everything and clean up spilt milk or tend to, like, forms and like that's, that's such bullshit energy like it's a filler having to like tend to stuff like that this is like it still needs to be done eventually okay um and it's not to say like to like our soul is really speaking i've i've talked about this several times and it's like the beach is barren Like, you, you little introvert. <laughs> the beach is barren. Go. Go out and play. And La Playa, okay? <laughs> That's what they're saying. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, I grab this. Okay, is there anything else you want me to pull from? Okay. This fell on the... It flew onto the retreat and reversal card. Wonderful. That goes in the 13 Skulls Gathering. Um, they, they didn't realize how, like, fluid-like. Like, they thought, they knew it was going to, like, go well. But they didn't know it was going to go wonderful. Like, the messages that are coming through. That's crazy. I know it's crazy. All right. Wonderful. Okay. It's it's a big old sun in reverse. Um, okay, let's think about this for a second. You know, the sun isn't just going to come out tomorrow. It's going to be like a big ass bright day. That's what they said. You know what? I was like, 
I'm getting that song. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Something. I don't know. But that's, that's what I got. Um, Because it's like, this is lovely. And then it's like, wonderful. Right? So even though it's like, not here yet. We're not. Remember. It's not. No lack mindset. We're, this is so, such like an awesome atmosphere to be in. It's just wonderful knowing that it's coming. Like, this thing is undefeatable. It's... You know, like, how they have, like, super moons? Like, the biggest super moon of it, you know, whatever, every single year. This is the super sun. That's crazy. Okay, is there anything else? Okay. Okay, what fell on this card right here, or the series right here, was this. <gasps> they're, they're lighting a fire underneath me, but they're trying to make it cozy. They're like, hey, they're trying to entice me. <laughs> they're trying to make it a holiday experience. You know how lovely that is? Oh, the light just went out. No, 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 no. We're not going to have any of that. That's what they said. This is crazy. I love it. <laughs> okay, anything else you want to say, ancestors? Oh, card reading. They're dealing the cards. They're helping me deal with cards. Instead of me reading for them, they're kind of reading for me. This also tells me that I have an ancestor, at least one, that has the same talents. They shared them with me. Remember when I said, you know, energy is never wasted. So let's say you're supposed to have, um, this is back in like, I did a reading a long time ago using like the Housewives Tarot, um, deck and it was just on my YouTube channel and it was, um, a two part thing. It was like, I was like split in half and I was like leaning heads on a head and one had like a C kind of thumbnail, um, picture. Um, one of them, let's see, it got stuck. Um, one of them uh, mentioned um, how um, energy is never wasted. So let's say you like meet some shitty character, right? And it was destined that you were supposed to have like a child with um, like this um, with this person, or you know, originally with this person, but then they fucked it up. Um, well, that child that wanted to come through is gonna come through through another contract, through another being that is worthy of bringing forth such a life. So, um, that's what they did for me. They shared their gifts to with me. They handed them over because it didn't get pronounced or developed within their lifetime. So, they're, it's like, it's not that I'm just like channeling, but I'm channeling with them. Do you know how cool that is? It's like they're living vicariously through me. I love it. That's why that's why I love it so much. Because I'm not the only one like that loves it. They love it too. <laughs> and it's all cards of truth. So we like we don't bullshit. That whoever my ancestor or ancestors were, we're no bullshitters. They spoke the truth. They dealt the cards and read them accordingly. Yeah. This was all up front. They dealt them by hand. They did it live in their own, like, old-fashioned atmosphere. For reals, that's what they did. Well, thank you very much. If there's any special requests that you have, that's doable. That's you know, still with enlightened love, I'd be w 
please. I'm happy to oblige. Oh, look. Bed. Um, you know what they're, they're saying? Like, not only, like, bloom what, where you're planted, but also, like, bloom where you sleep. They're telling me partially to clean up. <laughs> but also to beautify the environment, make it peaceful. Create an ambiance that... You know, isn't just filled with your goodies and stuff and, you know, or, you know, you have your, like, goodies accessible, but, like, it should be, er, like, <laughs> they told me to prepare it at, <laughs> that's funny, like, they said, okay, make believe <laughs> that you, um, are going to share a bed with someone. You don't want all this stuff on your team. <laughs> but honestly, prepare yourself for the life that you want. The life that, you know, you dream of. The life that welcomes another. Like, you know, if that's what you want. Or even just like solo for now. Create that peace of mind. And, and know that you've created this space. <laughs> This is, this is the secret sauce. <laughs> Honestly, singularly or with a plus one, you don't want to be in like a double bed situation like Lucy and Ricky. Like, you know, in the olden days, they had their, their own single twin bed things going on. No, this is not like a grown-up sleepover, okay? <laughs> it's a grown-up, grown-up sleepover. <laughs> so, let's cut the deck. Oh, transition. It's death. It's transformation. This is a wonderful card. Remember, death is smiling. Okay, one twelve on the clock. Now is banana grams time, they said. Because I felt, I don't know, they just said it. Okay, banana grounds. Okay, U and S. And it hit, did you hear that? That was on the crystal skulls. Oh, and then N was like some random thing, like laying on the bed someplace. So it's sun. <laughs> Do you see how crazy that is? N, like, I, I, I saw it wrapped up in a blanket or something after I, and it was like a, a uh, call out to getting ends twice. And so it reminded me to go back to reading where it's like, what makes you a blank team player? And I'm supposed to put the N like in parentheses there. Like follow the, follow the, follow the cookies. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Because uh, like, and I got that twice on the first lettering when I had to do, only my dieharders know, like, what I'm talking about. When I did the banana grams and I pulled two handfuls, got N twice, and then it led... So this unfolding between that time, I have to, like, change the posture to expand, you know, what kind of a team player you know, I could be. I can be an awesome team player. Like, get it straight, get it right, and get it, like, be, be detailed about it. You don't want to limit yourself to being like, oh, a badass team player. You can be an awesome team player. You can be an excellent team player. You can be a, you know, spectacular team player, you know? Yes. So, but that's why I saved the end just kind of as a reminder but to get S and U, to, U and S, like, dropped, um, that's us, like, me and my ancestors. And then, like, the sun card, like, freaking, this is like a, pr what? They're crazy. Just, just as I didn't think anything could get, like, that crazy or, like, on a good level. <laughs> it's good. Okay. 
So we have B A U A E E T D N O E E Q O T N. Okay. So what do we see so far? Uh, ouch, my legs. Ooh. Okay. Um, done. Um, Bunsen. No, there's only oh two ends. So it's like a Bunsen burner. <sighs> Chemistry. <sighs> Great. Um I have queen again. I also have quote. I got quote beforehand. But I feel like queen. Um, I don't know. I also have queens. So somebody might be from New York around that area. Because um, I usually don't get the S. Like a call to put the S there. Um, so definitely somebody's from around like Queens, New York. Um, but something about a quote, do we, do we mention a quote at all? You know, a quote could be like saying, you know, famous words of so-and-so, but it's also like a quote, you know, like, um, money, right? Um, giving somebody a quote, you know, an estimate for a price to be charged? Huh. Maybe somebody wants me to quote. Or somebody's going to offer a quote. I should be the one to say something, though. Huh. Okay. That means I have to do some homework. Quotes. Oh my gosh, for real. It's quotes. Because the first thing that I got was quote, and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know any quote. So like, I just like, I just kind of ran off like my usual, you know, spree with Queen. But they told me quote, but then there's S, so it's, yeah, it's they definitely, they definitely told me about that. Okay. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm getting like Bunsen, like a Bunsen burner. But let me see if there's anything else here. Because I don't know how like the Bunsen burner ties in here. Um, okay. This a lot, like I haven't used that word in a long, I haven't used that term in a long time. Um... Tendon. So, um, tendons are like ligaments, right? They're, um, points at which, um, like, like, um, they attach our muscles to our bones, if I'm not mistaken. So they're very much needed. Um, Tendons or tendon. Um, I think it's important when, when it comes to strength training not to forget about your tendons. Um, so stretching is important. Ugh, they're telling me to do yoga. I tried to have it. That's fine. You know, I told you like, oh, I started, you know, my morning stretching. I was kind of, I did it like a couple times. <laughs> kind of, not really. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like yawning, stretching. 
but I knew, I knew I had to, like, get serious about it, so, fine, yoga, okay, um, okay, butane, what the frick, what, what is, what is all this, like, <sighs> who the frick, butane, okay, fine, Um, it, um, so it's lighter fluid, basically. Um, oh, they definitely want, like, to get it started. They're, <laughs> they're, like, really trying to be polite, like, trying to be, they're so excited. They're so excited because they can see, like, beyond the veil, or beneath the veil. They can see, they can see. Mm -hmm. So they, like. They're really, 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 like, they're trying to hold it back. They're just really, really trying. <laughs> they're funny. <laughs> but they're super excited. Absolutely excited. It's like a new world for them, too. Um, um, so I have A and E left. And then that N that, you know... Remains as like the, I don't know, um, a reminder. I mean, it did its job with sun, you know, like in us. Like, what the fuck, 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 this is crazy. Like, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, so we'll take, um, N and we'll use it for one to make, you know, the word one. And then I have a, um, I think that's what I'm supposed to do with it. Give me a second. I mean, there's Bane. Oh, um, it's Bane. That's what I originally got at first, but I'm like, what's it? Like, I was thinking Bane, like in, um, uh, what do you call it? I think this is correct, though. I think Bane was correct, because I was like, I didn't know what that meant. But, you know, um, the arc enemy, or one of the arc enemies of, I think, Batman? His name is Bane, I think? The one that has a heavy breathing, like, <sighs> like, um, because he went through some shit. Um, but it was almost like his, his breathing is like Darth Vader, um, which gives them like this, you know, some kind of the same vibe of darkness. However, in the true movies, like, I think it was not as well, like, critically acclaimed because you couldn't really hear. I, that's what I remember. You couldn't really hear what the person was saying. Um, so when it came down to the movie theater, so like, there's no closed captioning. And most don't want to read, like, closed captioning when it comes to, um, like, action type of, you know, that kind of movies. Um, so anyway, but, so it's partially that, like, knowing that there are, there's that on the outskirts, but that's not our focus. Like, this is high vibing energy. This is, um, this is, in turn, lighting this up. This is, like, bane ma baneful magic. This is protection magic. This is where we ward off like that darkness just through our pure light and our connectivity with our ancestors. And this is generally um, kind of like the rule of thumb for, you know, each and every one of you. But for me, most particularly, this is like a culmination of um, skill sets, hard work, focus, um, it it's being driven in the light like for ages for like eons this is this is like a long time coming so um this is my destiny partially <laughs> i mean part of it they can, they're not going to tell everything <laughs> but um yeah this is like a need to know basis <laughs> so um to my fellow light workers 
co-creators. You know, take that into consideration. Um, I think that's it. Um, thank you, um, angels of light and love, ancestors of light and love, and our children. Um, spirit, thank you, um, for this time, um, together. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and the many more to come. Um, and I think that's it for now. So thank you, ancestors. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, at this time. This reading is now officially over, so um, I close all portals, or me and my ancestors close all portals that have been opened because we respect and value and love, 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 love our time and appreciate you in advance for also doing the same and giving us our space. Thank you. Okay, bye for now.